the worst thing that can happen to anybody is having problem and can share it with anybody. That is very bad. It's killing people. It's sending people to depression. It's crushing people. It's making people do a lot of horrible things that ordinarily they wouldn't have done it. It's making people be confused enough that they make a lot of horrible decisions. Why? Because you and I wasn't there to share their problem with them and keep it. People are crushed in pain every day and can't share their problem with anybody because they don't trust anybody to keep their problem with them without making it a public news. Many are forming the habit of not having the ability to keep privacy. Not their privacy, but other people's privacy. Because they can keep theirs. Their privacy, they're doing a lot of things that nobody, not even their, their right-hand family member knows about it. But they can't keep me and use own. Why? This, we have to do something about it. We cannot all be bad. In the last days, people will be self-centered, selfish, and don't care for others. It didn't say everybody, it said many. But there should be some leftover few. Can me and you be part of those few people that wouldn't be those part of people? Can me and you be part of those good people who can at least rescue some the worst pain is when you have problem and you can't share it that can kill that is killing people depression is real it's hard every day now people are going through a lot of problems silently and you think they are okay and they pretend they are okay once they lock that door behind, they cry in pain. They are frustrated and they don't know what to do. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know who to confide in. They don't know who to trust. They can't even share the truth of what the matter is with anybody. Why? They don't trust that you can keep their secret for them. They don't trust that you can keep their family privacy. They don't trust that you can keep their private affair to remain private. Privacy is privacy. Can you be a friend that someone can share their privacy and trust that you can seal it, zip it up, and nobody will have access and have key to penetrate it? Can you be at least a little disciplined to save some people? I want to share this. If you have any problem, I have a platform now that I am sharing for free. I have a platform that I provide help for people. Come talk to me. Share your problem with me and nobody, no single soul, apart from you and me and the God that solves problems is the only people. It's these three people that will hear it, that will know about it and you'll be rest assured to be protected that no one will hear your problem. Nobody is going to judge you. No matter how bad it is, you will not be judged, but rather find solution to have a happy, joyful, peaceful life. At least for now, till we can enjoy the perfect life in the future. 
God did not design us to live alone, share our problems alone, carry our burdens alone. He is such a perfect loving father that he designed me and you, provided us the institution of family, the ability to have friends, and neighbors and he get level leave he gave us instructions love your family love your neighbor like yourself but unfortunately fam most families today and they are for each other you rather even talk to someone outside than to talk to your own family member some families are like that Unfortunately, what's out of it all? Friends. No more friends anymore. You don't even know who to call a friend anymore. The person you call that friend, that you trusted should be that friend, is the one betraying you. Is the one absorbing everything they know about you to put out there. That is the same person that is secretly behind you, stabbing you, unfortunately. Neighbors, everybody care about themselves. Too much trouble everywhere. Everybody's minding their business. We don't know who to talk to. You can only trust yourself now. You don't know who to trust because people can't even trust themselves. They don't even know what to say, what to do, and how they are going to act in the next minute. But we thank God we still have a loving Father who is willing to listen to us at any time, no matter what. And I still thank Him enough that He have people like me out there in the world who is selflessly willing to protect each other, at least for God's sake. And I am telling you, the greatest mistake you will make is to allow yourself to be depressed of any condition. Is to allow yourself to end your life because of any situation. It don't make sense. That is pure lack of wisdom if you allow yourself to be in that cage open up if you are hearing me now dm me email me call me on phone i am volunteering myself to be your best friend your best secret friend that nobody knows that i'm your friend but we can deal with, with it together. We can talk together. We can share it together. And we can keep it within ourselves. I am sharing my number on the description below. And I will still say it. Plus one, plus one, eight six two, two one six, two five five eight. I will say it again. Plus one, eight six two, two one six, two five five eight. This number, if you if you're calling from international, call on WhatsApp. If you don't have WhatsApp, download WhatsApp. First of all, text this number and say you are so 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 person, and you would like to talk to me about so 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 thing. You don't have to go in detail. Just say in brief why you're texting and why you're calling. I will surely get back to you. You can email and leave your details. DebbieClassic at yahoo.com. D-E-B-B-Y-C-L-A-S-S-I-Q-U-E at yahoo.com. Text or email. I'll call you or download WhatsApp. Call or text via WhatsApp. 
If you call, I didn't pick, send a text. I will surely talk to you. A problem shared is halfway solved, if not solved already. But the most important thing is for you to have someone to sh share your burden with. It breaks the shoulder to carry that heavy load alone. And sometimes, confusion can kick in out of pressure of pain to make wrong decisions. That is why you need a loving person by your side that you can trust, that have human, human sympathy, that have that loving heart originated from God to be able to be used to share your burden with you. It's hard and those people are few. We don't even know who is who. People can pretend to be nice, but behind them, because we don't have the ability to read their heart, we don't know the other side of the heart. It might be deadly. So it has moved people, you and I, to lock up. We can't talk. Even when we are dying, we can't still talk. This got to at least find a way, if not stop, minimize. And I will say, please, if you're listening to me, take it easy with people. You can see someone looking beautifully flashy and looking nice. The person is dying inside. Okay, why do you think someone who you think is doing okay, tomorrow you hear that the person committed suicide or slumped and died? or slept and didn't wake up, then most people will start like, ah, this person I think was doing okay. What is he going through that he has to take his life? What is she going through that she have to die like that? Ah, she should have talked to somebody. But you were there. You wasn't there. So now you're regretting. So we can help now that is not too late try to be nice to people you don't have to know people to be nice to them one word you say to somebody out there can change their life and their thinking can give them hope no wonder god advised me and you to use our tongue well that whatever comes out of our tongue should be of of building not of tearing down because he knew how he prepared this our tongue. That life and death is, is still inside this our tongue. So how do you prepare to use your own tongue? Using it to tear people down and you don't consider yourself to be satanic agency? Child? Messenger? But, well, anybody using their tongue to destroy people, to slander people, to, to talk about people negatively, you don't have to describe any other thing other than to identify and accept what you are. And if you say you are not, can you and me try to do better? Can we try to do better? Try to be nice to people out there. Please share this video as much as you can. Let's continue talking, but share this video so that it can reach people so it can save someone's life please try to be nice to people stop being too harsh on people take it real cool accommodate people try to find out what is wrong with someone most people are behaving anyhow because of frustration because something is going on with them that they just they feel like ending it and they vent those frustrations by their behaviors. And one word you share out there can help to change the person's mind or at least give the person hope. Can we do better? People are going through a lot and suffering and dying in silence. When you say, I will be there for you, can you be there? It's not about money. Everything is not about money. 
advice, words of encouragement can keep someone going. That can be the gas fuel in the person's spirit to keep going and keep trying their best to keep up. And above all, I would say, do not allow any problem to break you to the extent of sending yourself to depression, to the extent of taking your life. It doesn't worth it. I want to tell you something. Of every trial you and I go through, there's a reason for it. Pay attention to what you're learning from me because definitely, most obviously, you're going to come out of it and it's going to be a knowledge to save someone's, someone else's life. I have a full, full history that if I sit you down and start telling you my story, my history, we can finish in two days. But those has fortified me to be saving people's life. That less than the whole thing you just said now, this is my story, then compare it. So please try to use the experience you get from your trials to re-empower yourself, reinvent yourself, and prepare yourself to save someone else with that experience. So where would you what would you do when you are gone with that experience without using it to empower the world? So you just wasted that effort. So keep account of every trial you're going through. Let it reinvent you, but not break you. I love you guys. And please, until everything is over and better in the new world, find peace. Above all, peace remains in the knowledge of God. Once you adopt the knowledge of God, it will help you find peace. Most of the reason why people lose hope is because they think this life is all there is. It's not. By the time you study the Bible, the hopes of God, you'll be able to have reassuring hope and not allow this system take your life. Please share this video. It is very important. You can help to save someone's life. Share this video. I am begging you, share this video. For humanity's sake, let it touch your heart to share this video. Most people engage in sharing videos that are so toxic, videos that discourages people, that make people even lose hope, nude videos, videos that don't make sense, but don't sh like to share videos that can help to re-empower someone or give someone hope. This is part of those videos that could be life-saving. Share this video.